All right, here we are. We are going to show you some of the projects I've been working on. You guys give me a lot of crap. TC, why don't you get a job? Why don't you get a job? It's because I've been working on this, okay? So I am going to be building houses. That is my passion. That is what my dad taught me. You know, I'm gonna follow his way, follow his path, learn from him. I'm gonna kind of start digging my own roots here in Jupiter, building my own company, building my own houses. So today I got four projects to show you that I'm working on. One in DeQuesta, two in Jupiter Farms, and a restaurant that I am working on building and opening with my boy JP. Uh, I'm excited about this because you know what? I learned a lot this past year. I want to set my roots here. I want to build a company. I want to build something that I can, you know, my grandkids can live off of and learn from. So that's the goal here. That's what I'm doing. That's my passion. I'm following that. So come check it out. It's going to be a multi-part series. I'm going to share a lot with you. I'm excited to share with you guys because this is my life. This is what I care about. It's my passion. So let's do it. This first lot I'm bringing you to right now was an old horse farm. It has a stable to a stable on it, whatever. I think you know, one of my products for this is turning that stable into maybe like an outdoor bar area. It could be very cool. So I'm gonna paint it to match the house and all that. So it's got a beautiful deal you're gonna see. It's got a beautiful land. Uh, it's gonna be a great spot. I'm excited for it. Um, but yeah, so first stop, house and melon, we'll call it. Right. So this is uh, one of our first projects for Jupiter Farms. We are building a big house out here. Like I said, 3,200 square feet under AC. Very excited about this. You see there's already a stable here in the back because it used to be a barn for the house next door. Um, but there's some problems here at this house. This is my first real issue that I have to deal with. If you look in here, you can see where the mud turns black. And that's muck, and we don't like muck. Muck is something you have to dig out so we have to go through here, see how much muck is in the pad, dig it all out, put in good fresh soil. That's gonna be expensive, but hey, you gotta pay to play, right? So that's number one project that we have to do to get started here. Uh, wasn't happy when I dug the hole to find out the issue, but what can you do about it, you know? So you gotta keep moving forward. So I'm gonna take you all now to come see the plans for the house and show you what I'm doing. You walk in, there's gonna be a beautiful front entry. You can see it right here. A lot of columns, a lot of windows, very grand. I'm actually gonna build the same house for myself. I'm gonna extend this out right here to be all outdoor uh, outdoor barbecuing. You got your, your living room, your great room right here to the right. You have your dining room right here in the middle. So what I would do is I'd put a chandelier right in the middle, nice beautiful piece with a big round table. That's my plan for when I do my house. And then you got your big open kitchen right here that faces everything, double pantries over here. The nice French doors open out to the backyard. You got your master bedroom right here. Master bathroom. I'm gonna do it. I'm changing this master bedroom right here actually. I'm gonna take this bed, put it here, put another window there. I'm gonna take this French door out and that's where the TV's gonna go to make that fit better. And then you got you got your office right up here up front. And then you have bedroom uh, bedroom two, three, and four right there. You have another bathroom here, bathroom there, uh, utility room double car garage with an extended work area in your garage. So a lot of room, big house. It's gonna be an expensive build, but you know, out here you gotta do it big. You have to build big in the farms because you have a lot of land. You wanna have a small house on a big piece of land, right? So my other project is if you look behind you, we have the stable right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the stable to match the color of the house. And then I'm figuring out what I wanna do, kind of maybe take out some of these walls, make it like an outdoor barbecuing area, whatever. You know, use what you got and make, you know, add value to it. So that's the plan. I love it. Super traditional, modern farmhouse style house. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. Very excited for this. Now I'm going to take you to my other lot just to check it out. But it'll be the same house going on that lot. Right now we are heading to Tequesta. Tequesta is like a little sub part of Jupiter. Uh, it's the village of Tequesta. Beautiful place. Very small, quaint area. I love it there. We bought a, lot, a piece of land that is off the water, what is cool about this piece of land though is it has dock access. So at the end of the street, there's a bunch of area, you know, a bunch of docks that boats can not park there as long as you're part of the homeowners association, which is a really cheap fee. So it's a huge bonus. Where we're at right now, people are buying like five hundred and six hundred thousand dollar homes, and they're tearing them down, and they're building these ginormous one, you know, two story houses, and they've been sold for like one point five million dollars. So we're buying a lot. We don't have to tear anything down. We don't have to do any of that. So you know, we're saving money there. The lot was a little bit expensive, but right now in Jupiter, you got you got to pay to play. Houses are right now being sold 
at you know like, like above asking price, which is which is amazing. You know what I mean? So you, you get whatever you want right now. So that's why I'm so motivated to hurry up and sell and, and build and get going because right now is the time to, 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 to jump on it and get going. All right, so here we are on location right now. It's a beautiful lot. Come check it out with me. I'll show you what I like about it. If you look over here, we have office buildings right here. And then there's a huge barrier and a 15 foot setback from the office building. That means you're never gonna have people bothering you over there. They have big trees over there right now. So you have privacy on that side. You, you have a big lot over here. Come back. You're never gonna have anyone behind you either. So that's another bonus. So this property is private, it's easy. You have water access, it's everything you want. The next steps are my favorite parts, which is clearing the lot, get my little bobcat out here, my little skid steer, just start tearing everything down, tearing it apart, getting it all messy, getting it all taken out of here. And then we bring in Phil, find our elevation, and then get to building. But I'm gonna show you the plans now, and let's check it out. You got a four bedroom house, three bathrooms. Uh, you got a one story, 2,400 square feet under AC, 3,200 total, two car garage. As you can see, we're gonna go with the West Indies look right here. Nice, clean, simple, the style that everyone's kind of going for right now. So you walk in, you have a beautiful long front entry, which I love, long hallways for the front entry. Kind of like more grand and more personal that way. Maybe put a nice chandelier here. Um, you got your bedroom here, kids bedroom there, kids bedroom there. Uh, you got your bathrooms. I, what I love though is, that, is that once you get through this hallway, it opens up to a big great room, you know, a big living room, dining room, kitchen. Everything is wide open because everyone likes the open concept right now. And then tucked in the back is your master bedroom with a big master bathroom, gigantic master closet. So it's everything you're going to want in a house and a uh, good place to raise your kids for the first time. Probably like, why the hell are we at Three Natives? You always see me post about it, you always see me eating it. It's because I love this place. And this place is part of, as a staple to my diet. I use it to eat, I, you know, to fuel myself up. I'm feeling a little low right now, so I got an acai bowl. I love these things. The chronic add almond butter is my order. You should get it for yourself. Tab me when you do. Uh, but yeah, so I'm here. I get the mango toast in the morning. I love this place. This place is what I eat probably four times a week. Uh, I love it so much that me and my buddy JP are actually getting our own location. We are franchising it out and we are going to Delray Beach. We are coming to the Atlantic Avenue. And we're gonna have a spot there. So make sure you check it out. We're gonna build it out. We've got an awesome spot for y'all to come check out. So yeah, that's another construction project we're working on. Uh, I'm totally excited about. You better come visit us when we open up. If you don't, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So I'm gonna go enjoy my little acai bowl. Like I said, chronic add almond butter, the TC special. And uh, y'all, we'll see you at the next location. All right, so now we are at our final lot here. What's the difference between the one we just went to and the one we are at now? The other one's long and narrow. This one is nice and wide. So it'll be a nice grand view to the big house. Uh, come check it out, come check out the land. All these trees right here are gonna have to get cleared out. Uh, we'll take them out. There's some that we'll leave. We'll leave some of these over here. Those are pretty trees. A couple back there that we'll leave. But the next steps here is clear it all out, pull all this brush out of here and then get a nice soil on top, get, build up a pad, can be four feet above the ground, or above the road basically, uh, just for flooding reasons. But yeah, so these are my projects. You see them now at their bare, but hopefully when you see them soon, there'll be some building going on, some, some construction going on. I'm excited about these projects, I'm excited to get back into the groove of building and get things done with my own hands.